never have one because a bad alien race doesn't want you to. I'll go with the the uh, odds of at least having a chance to have a King Arthur as opposed to I know we're not going to have one. But in the meantime, uh, we've got some information and updates that I need to bring you, and I'm going to take a break here. And Hans, let's uh, get some music up. And I've been rambling very different. This, guys, today, this whole thing today is is a very, uh, very unusual um, broadcast for for me. And um, I want to uh, apologize for some of the the incoherent thoughts I'm having because of my dizziness. Maybe. Uh, if it, I'll let you know on the next program if it went away right after the show. Anyway, we're going to listen to this fellow by the name of, uh, his name's Ken, can't say his last name. And uh, the music's called Time Will Tell. And I'm going to have Hans uh, put that on. We'll be right back.
All right. This is John Waterman, and today is February the 12th, 2010, and as you can already tell, you are listening to the Waterman Files, and it is a very different program today. Um, yes, we are wanting to focus on community, because as I was going to get to, but rant, rant, ranted on a different rabbit uh, course there for a second, um, the paradigm that tells us that we have problems with these aliens wanting to, you know, muck up things, the focus would be then, okay, if they're taking over the systems that govern us, if they're in control of them, how do we escape it? There's lots of, of documents that are telling us that we should escape them, that we should get away from them, that we should make it a priority to get away from them. And some of these documents, some are more, uh, uh, what can I say? Some of them are more uh, in detail than others. Others just document or document, document that there are and were issues and warned not to let that happen to you again. Others actually have, uh, like, uh, old manuscripts from Greece say, just get out of the system. And they call it the beast. Come out of, come out of the beast. And in order to do that, you have to have somewhere to go, don't you? So, let me ask you, how many of you have a driver's license? Well, if I don't have a driver's license, well look, Either you can obey the laws of the beast system, or you can just become completely invisible. And I want to talk to you about that just for a second. And uh, one of the things that I want to talk to you about is a book that is called Getting Out. And uh, this is going to be kind of a book review right now, but it's a really important look at how you can actually become invisible. Now, there's another way, How there's another book. Let me give you two books. The other book that I won't be going over today is How to Disappear Completely is the name of a book. This book, though, is called Getting Out by, the, by a man by the name of Mark E-H-R-M-A-N. Ehrman. Now, it's on the back it says this. Whether you find the government oppressive, the economy on a devastating course, or if you simply want adventure, you're not alone. In America, over 300,000 Americans leave each year. Isn't that what we have as an indigenous person to the planet Earth Shouldn't we all have a right to live where we want? Now, that doesn't mean suck off of the government you're going to be uh, in their border of. Because if you really look at all the land mass in the world, there's something over it. Even if it's some uh, knuckle-headed, uh, uh, genocidal, pathological dictator. There's somebody over it. Getting out, that means the book, walks you through a world of the expat. That means expatriate. The reasons, the rules, the sources, the tricks of trade, along with compelling stories and expertise from expatriates on every continent. Getting out shows you where you can most easily get residence, where you can easily hide, where you can live for a fraction of the cost of where you're living now, what countries 